What's wrong, Giz? I'm bored. <laughs> Ouchie! That bluey toy just landed right on my head. Oh well, at least it wasn't something heavy that landed on you. And who? <laughs> Ouchie! <laughs> that heavy book just landed on my head. What is it? Bluey, the pool. Hey, let's go and read it. That'll keep us busy for a while. Today's story is Bluey, the pool, and it goes a little something like this. It's a hot summer's day, and Bluey wants to know what the family is going to do. Nothing, until you clean your teeth, says Mum, but Bluey doesn't want to. That's boring, she says. Boring things are important too, says Mum. Bluey thinks that if boring things were important, then they'd be more fun. Dad bursts in. Let's go for a swim in Uncle Stripe's pool, he yells. Yeah, cried the girls. And look, he's got some pool noodles and a water pistol there. Don't forget the swim stuff, calls Mum. But Bluey, Bingo and Dad are already rushing out the door and into the car. Mum is such a fusspot. She always makes us do boring things, says Bluey. She does, says Dad. When they get to Uncle Stripe's, Bluey leaps down onto the footpath. It's hot. Bluey and Bingo don't have their thongs. Ow, ow, ee. So Dad ends up carrying them. I'm a giraffe, says Bingo from the top of Dad's head. Then it's time for Bluey and Bingo to put on their rashies and sunscreen. But Dad's forgotten them. Biscuits, he says, and slaps himself in the face. We'll just have to stay in the shady bit, and we'll put our hats on, says Dad. What hats, asks Bluey. Bluey does a bomb into the pool. This is going to be fun. Bingo wants to jump in too. Dad, can I have my floaties, she asks. Sorry, Squirt, I didn't bring them, says Dad. Bingo's not sure about the crawly thing either. Oh yes, it does look a bit scary, doesn't it? Bluey wants to swim all the way to the other end of the pool, but she can't go into the sunny bit. You've got no sunscreen on, reminds Dad. Dad, is this shady bit going to get bigger or smaller? Asks Bluey. Ah, bigger, for sure, says Dad. I mean smaller, says Dad. Oh yeah, look, they're all crammed in the corner in the little shady part. The pool doesn't seem like that much fun anymore. Oh, here we go. Dad, I'm bored. Dad, I'm cold. Dad, I'm freezing. Dad, I'm hungry. Dad, I'm starving. Dad, 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 Dad. Okay, can everyone stop saying Dad, says Dad. I think Dad is actually boring. Mummy's way more fun, declares Bluey. A warm voice floats into the pool area. Oh, that's nice to hear, says Mum. I brought all the swim stuff you left behind. Mum, Mum, Bluey and Bingo say. Mum even remembered to bring morning tea. After they've eaten, Mum helps Bluey put on some sunscreen and Dad helps Bingo with her floaties. So boring things are important sometimes then, asks Mum. Yes, agrees Bluey. Goggles mean Bluey can play torpedo. Floaties mean Bingo can escape from the crawly thing. And sinkies take you to the very bottom of the pool. Where you can see all sorts of things. The end. Hey, I reckon we should hit the pool. Who's with me? Yeah, right, Chris. I'll come to the pool with you. <laughs> what are you working on here, Snowy? It's a secret. Oh, fair enough. You're a good boy, Sharky, aren't you? Yes, you are. Good, Sharky. Nice little Sharky. Yes, you are. Nice Sharky. Friendly Sharky. Oh, yes, you are. Here we are then. Yup. In you go, dude. Oh, after you, sir. No, uh, I don't really like swimming. No, me either. I hate getting wet. Do you know how long it takes my body to dry out? Maybe we could throw something in there instead. Yeah, those bluey toys like the one that bonked me in the head before. Oh yeah, sorry about that. Come on.
Louie. Bingo. And Dad. It's a bit big for a pool for them. Yeah, it looks more like an ocean. Yeah, and here comes a big shark. A shark? Oh no, quick, get those fellas out of there. Mr. Underpants, grab them. No, I don't like getting my paws wet. Me either. Uh, hang on, let's see if I can find something. Showing. He saw to do it. All right, bandit. Got him. Bluey. Uh, got her. Bingo. Uh, got her. Phew. Ah, oh, but hey, well, that's a friendly shark. How do you know? Because I created it out of paper mache and cardboard. And as I was painting it, I kept saying things like, you're a good boy, you're a nice boy, aren't you? Yeah, but I thought I heard Don had to wander through there and say something like, Ho oh, ho, aren't you a vicious little creature? No, don't worry about that. He was talking to Aslan, sitting on the table behind the sharky. Right, so he's definitely a friendly shark. In that case, they all climb aboard the shark. Bluey, Bingo, and Bandit. They sure are lucky that there's no storm out at sea today. Yeah. Oh dear, I guess we spoke too soon, Mr. Underpants. Luckily, a big sailboat comes along and rescues them. Bluey, Bingo, and Bandit. Off they go. Looks like the storm's broken, dude. Yeah, but now it's dead calm out there. They're stuck in the middle of the ocean. They'll never get back to shore without a breath of wind. Oh, yeah. So how about Sharky comes back, they tie a rope to him, and he tows him into shore. Then they all hop out. Bandit, Bluey, and Bingo. But uh-oh. Is that a huge wave I see coming? Wow! Bingo stayed on her feet. Nice one, Bingo. Uh-oh. Is that another even bigger wave? Someone's gonna have to save them before it arrives. Snowy, grab the chili toy. We lost a chili toy ages ago. We'll go and make something. Huh? You made that shark. I'm sure you can whip something up. Yeah, right, huh? Shawing! Mum arrives to save them. She grabs a rope and throws it down for them to climb up. Bingo, Bluey, and Bandit. Mum brings the car around and they all hop in. Bandit, Bluey, and Bingo. Then Mum drives them all off to safety. Hooray for Mum! Thanks for reading that story with us. That was Bluey, the pool. If you enjoyed that and want to read it again, why not see if you can get your hands on it at your local bookshop or library? And if you want to see more Funny Gissy, don't forget to subscribe to our channel to keep up to date with all our latest videos. We'll see you next time on Storytime with Gissy.